Bullseye Wood has been the focus of a community archaeology project uh, here in 2015 and 2016, uh, whereby, uh, with the help of uh, the um, RSS, we cleaned back some of the cover that was over the, 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 the uh, headstones and the burials and that here on the site. Uh, the reason for this was that uh, the late Helena O'Keefe uh, requested that something be done about this little children's burial ground. She grew up here as a child, playing in this wood, uh, had absolutely wonderful admiration and uh, that for the little space itself, and all during her life, she tended to it. Uh, even today, uh, though Helena herself is gone, there's still a basket here with some, uh, uh, well, they look like rushes in it now, but... Um, you know, when we came here first, when I first came to this site a number of years ago, uh, there were flowers on the site and that, that Alina had left here. So, in many ways, uh, this is done out of uh, respect to Helena herself and her wish to have something done, but also uh, to um, bring back into the community a children's burial ground such as this. Uh, it was on the peripheral, exactly as it should be. These sites are liminal sites. They're on the edge. They're, as I said earlier, they're away from the, uh, the, 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 the community itself. But uh, at the same time, we do need to absorb them back into the communities and we do need to care for them and manage them. Uh, the great thing about this site is that it's actually, it was originally um, a small oak forest and then later was a conifer woodland. But uh, when it was cleared a number of years ago, it allowed the place to regenerate. And we can see some of the flowers and that coming back into the, the, the site here, such as the wood anemones. And uh, we also find uh, other aspects here, uh, you know, small um, oaks and that beginning to sprout and things like that. So it's a wonderful little oasis on the edge of the village of Woodford. Um, the name itself is, is very interesting, Bullseye Wood. We just don't know where it came from. Uh, we have no, there's no rationale. It doesn't uh, fit into anything. It doesn't appear to be a translated, an anglicised Irish word or anything like that. So we really don't know where bullseye wood came from. Now, the one thing we do know uh, about the site is that uh, tanning took place in here, that there were little pits in here for tanning at some stage or other, and it is known as the tan yard. So perhaps uh, it was that association with leather and maybe with the, the, whatever was taking place here with the hides and the animals. Uh, maybe that's the link, you know, between bullseye wood or the notion of maybe the, the animals in that here, the, the, the cattle in that being maybe uh, being rendered in that here. I don't know, but it is an intriguing name and, uh, you know, it asks loads of questions. On the first edition Ordnance Survey map, uh, this is marked as graveyard, but now uh, we know it as a children's burial ground. It is quite possible that it did originate as a community graveyard, but uh, we don't have a lot of evidence for that, although within the, the stones here, the way that the little graves are marked out, uh, there are a few larger uh, enclosures here, so perhaps there was adult burial here in the past. But um, the interesting th thing here in this particular graveyard is that we have a mix of types, if you like. Uh, in some instances, such as here, in this particular area, and in other areas uh, behind me, you have uh, small little lintels, like, they look almost like little graves, where you have a headstone and possibly either a footstone or a headstone for another burial of this side. But you have curves either sides, almost creating a little cradle for the infants that were buried here. Uh, in other instances, we actually find that what you're getting are uh, single stones marking burials. And of course, as all those with children's burial grounds, what you will find is you'll find that the rows of stones uh, marking the heads of the burials will always be in a, a general north-south alignment. And that's, uh, that's what we're finding here. Now, in other instances, we're actually finding slabs of sandstone laid down over the little graves. And that's by means of protection from animals or that rooting in, in, in the site. One of the things that's interesting here though is that uh, there's a D-shaped enclosure defined by a very low wall here of boulders. Uh, it measures about 35 metres in length, there thereabouts, and somewhere in the region of 12 metres in width. And uh, the other aspect of this site is that it's actually right beside a fairly fast flowing stream. And often what you find with children's burial grounds is they're placed in liminal places. They're placed on the edge, uh, away from the community, away from the settlement and that. And the, the, the very fact that it's here on the western side of the stream 
in a way, is protecting the village itself, if you like, from the, the, the spirits uh, of the, the dead infants that are buried here in Bullseye Wood.